Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another Lana Takes the Altar episode, episode five to be exact. Check out my playlist I created for all of the episodes if you want to get caught up in this series. Um, I had the pleasure of actually going to visit two different vendors for, floral, for florals, for flowers, for my wedding. I <laughs> can't talk today, guys. Um, but I did go to these different places and um, I was a little unsure of what questions I should ask or what I should bring with me and now that I know, I thought I'd share what I learned along the way with you guys out there who may be planning weddings of your own. So let's get right into the tips. Tip number one is to know your budget. You cannot make any decisions or know exactly what you want or know what you can afford unless you know your budget. Go in with a hard number. Bring someone, bring someone who's gonna make you stick to that number as well. And make sure that you understand what your budget is, what allocation of money you're willing to give towards flowers. And don't forget that flowers include more than one aspect of your day. I would definitely recommend um, writing that number down, telling the floral person, the flower people, first when you first walk in that way you guys are on the same page and your flower people your, your, the vendors will know I don't know why I keep calling them flower people the vendors will know what is feasible for you and what is out of your range it is so important this is the most important thing discuss this with your fiance discuss what you guys want what your visions are and then go forward with going to your floral consultations Tip number two is going to be to bring someone with you. This is gonna help with your organization. This is gonna help with you to stay, with, with having someone, having someone there is gonna help you to stay on task. Having someone there is gonna make sure, they're gonna make sure to remind you um, that you, know, you need to stay within your budget. Bring someone like your mom, or even your fiance, or maybe your maid of honor, who's gonna help you to stick with in that range. It could help, it helps to have another person there to listen to the conversation that, that's being had. And also it allows for you to have someone there to hand paperwork and other things. That way you can engage in the conversation with the vendor. Um, going by yourself is a little, it can be a little flustering because basically you're, you're there by yourself. You're handling, they're handing you papers, giving you ideas, business cards, all different types of information. And it's hard to kind of listen to what the vendor is saying when you're juggling all that stuff. So definitely bring somebody with you who's gonna help you, who's responsible, who's gonna help you out with this, and it can really help a lot when you're going to the different vendors. Tip number three, make sure you know your vision, know your theme, know what you want in your flowers. It could help to know what kind of flowers you want to utilize in your, in your bouquet, in your bridesmaids bouquets. It could help to know how much those flowers kind of cost because different flowers cost different prices and a specific kind of flower like or something that's very unusual and ornate like an orchid is like 40 to $50 a stalk <laughs> for one stalk. So you definitely want to know what um, flowers you might be interested in including in your bouquets or what you don't want in your in your bouquets altogether. It's very important. Know the colors of your theme. Know what bri what your bridesmaids dresses are gonna look like. Know what kinds of suits your, your guys are gonna be wearing, the groomsmen. Also, be aware of, you know, your your colors, of course, of your <laughs> of your wedding. That way the vendor will be much more helpful in putting together putting together some some different examples for you and then your vision can come to life. Tip number four is to bring pictures with you. Pull things off of Pinterest, pull things off of the internet, pull things off of anywhere you can find inspiration for your theme that's going to bring your vision to life. If your theme is a yellow and a Tiffany's blue, Make sure you type that into Pinterest and find some ideas that you can bring with you. Any kind of visual assistance you can offer your vendor is going to be is going to mean the world to them. And it'll make the job a lot easier for you to convey what your vision is to them if they have a visual uh, visual to, to associate with your vision. So definitely, definitely, definitely bring pictures and different ideas. If you have pictures, of all, an Instagram picture from a wedding you attended previously that you like those ideas at that wedding included, bring it with you and your vendor will thank you. Tip 
Tip number five, don't be afraid to deviate from your vision in order to adhere to your budget. It's so easy to fall into an idea and then want to commit to that, that idea fully, but then you find that the dollars are creeping up and the cha-ching signs and sounds are floating around your head. It's so easy to do that. Sometimes you have to let go a little bit of your vision in order to stay within budget, and that is important. At the end of the day, your flowers are always gonna, are going to be beautiful, but at the same time, they are going to die. And you have to understand that this is just one day that you're you're celebrating the love with your you and the love of you and your fiance, and that day is gonna come and go. So definitely be able and be willing to deviate from your vision in order to stay within your budget. I found that this was most important for me, but probably the most important tip besides knowing my budget um, that was gonna help me to stay within my budget. I was well, willing to let go of some of my vision in order to stay within and it ultimately saved me a lot of money. Tip number six kind of goes along with knowing your theme, but it's also very important. And it was also something that I kind of didn't even think about before I walked into the my different consultations. Know the numbers of your bridal party. <laughs> know the numbers of the bride's group, um, mother and father. Are there step parents involved? What are your are your grandparents going to be in attendance? Are they going? Are they there? Are they going to be wearing boutonnieres and um, pins on their lapels? What's going to be happening? Know the numbers of your bridal party. Um, Tony and I, we have uh, seven on each, eight on each side, and then we have two um, two flower girls, and we have um, one ring, ring bearer. So it's very important to know your numbers. Know how many of each you have. Um, Tony has a stepfather, so no. Tony has his biological father, and he has a stepfather, so we're going to include flowers for both of them. And it's very important to be aware of the numbers going into your consultations. This is something I did not think about whatsoever. And it actually was something that both vendors asked me during my consultations. So definitely be aware of that and keep that in mind. Write it down in a notebook or something before you go to your consultation. That way you're prepared. My last tip and tip number seven is going to be to know what you want and but then visit more than one vendor and compare those vendors so definitely go make it so that you can book more than one consultation maybe in one day take a Saturday or Friday or even a Sunday and go and visit the different vendors try to visit more than one in different in one area and you know compare them give them a call, tell them all the same information. I printed out um, copies of what I wanted. I had pictures uh, of each, I had stuff I pulled off of Pinterest that I um, printed off, I stapled everything together, I made like three or four different copies and I went and saw all the different vendors and left that copy with them, put my name at the top, that way they remembered who I was and what my ideas were. That way, whenever they pulled my file, or if I contacted them later on, they knew exactly what we talked about during our meeting. It's very easy to fall into like, you know, being confused about what you talked about with one vendor and what you talked about with another. This can, ve this can very much help with that confusion. Um, vi visit more than one vendor so you can compare prices and what they offer and what you're getting for your money. It's so important. You're spending a ton of money on this one day and it's very important to know where your money is going and how it's going to be spent. So I hope this series has been super helpful for those of you out there who are planning your wedding. Um, I hope these seven tips were helpful as well for your consultations. I want to know how they go and please leave a comment below and give this video a thumbs up if you can so that you so that I know that you guys like these videos and I'll definitely keep them coming. Um, I have a lot of Lana Takes the Altar videos on their way as wedding planning has been kicked up a notch as we get closer to the date and I look forward to adding to this playlist and looking back on it in years to come. So give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you liked about the video, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.